Hey, yogis, I'm Lang. You're fabulous. It's awesome to get to do some yoga with you today. We're going to get started in Shavasana. The name of our practice is Free to Love. So as you cozy your way into the pose, just really feel like you're letting everything go. Like all the doings, all the stressings, all the plans, all the worries, all the frustrations, all the conflicts, all the, even all the good stuff is just dripping off the body, melting off your bones, relaxing off your skin as you close the eyes and start to breathe slow, smooth, oceanic, breathful body, breathing left, right, front, back, top, bottom. To your breath be super calming and enjoyable. As we practice today, one of the great gifts of yoga is it's not only a workout, it's a work in. So for our work in today, I invite us to just kind of think about perspective and having how having a broad perspective, a big picture perspective, as well as a diversity of perspectives helps us love more boldly, more beautifully, more broadly, helps us love ourselves, helps us love others. Because even think about it, like, you know, there's nobody that we can't love if we, when we know their story, once we have their perspective, once we understand the things that shaped them and formed them and led them to be and do and think and believe how they are. I know it's been true for me. I see how my story led me to be one way when I was younger and a different way when I was older. Starting with an ohm or an ah, let's let the breath go, feel the body soften. Draw a breath in for sound. Uh, Let's get started in a playful manner to get the blood flowing. Lift the hands and feet and let them be floppy and dangly. We're going to give them a good and proper and fun shake for a count of five, three times. So shake your hands and feet as playfully and silly as possible for five, four, three, two, one, and then just pause and feel that good energy coursing through your system. Let's do two more, a little faster, a little more wild and free for five, four, three, two, one feel ha <laughs> fantastic let's be fun and free for a five count five four three two one and feel Whew, so good draw the knees in the chest give yourself a hug and squeeze take a big breath in and really stretch your tongue out stick it out as far as you can for a lion's breath as you exhale Fabulous. Then rock and roll along the spine. And then we're going to come up to a seat. And then pick the sit bones up and then kind of squish down through them. And then stamp the left foot down. And then bring the right foot over, energizing the toes. And then to get into the right hip, we pulse the heart towards the shin. Also get into the shoulders and the heart a little bit too. And fill it out. Perhaps hang here, perhaps become stationary. Or to feel a little more energetic frisky if you will you can add a little swinging motion for three more breaths inhaling exhaling breathing in calm breathing out the chaos one more breath in one more breath out find that squish through the sit bones as we land them if they lifted land the right foot left foot over flex the foot and again we start with a little pulsing getting into the outer left hip and perhaps same options enjoy three more breaths inhaling exhaling breathe in clear out one more inhale, one more exhale, land the sit bones again. If they lifted, cross the right shin in front, flex the feet. We'll build up a twist, 
Bring the right hand cross body, left hand behind from the low belly down, feel yourself spin to the right. From the low belly up, feel a spiral stairway, so sequential spin up and to the left. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Breathe in as if love is pouring into your body through your crown. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Let's switch to the other side. So across the left shin in front, just kind of chilly noting if one side feels weird. Probably it does. We have kind of the natural ways, the natural patterns that we do things. Uh, left hand to the right knee. Right hand behind, low belly down, spins left, low belly up, spirals up and to the right. We call them samskaras in yoga. So routines, patterns, they get like grooved into our consciousness. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. It's always the first step to change as you keep breathing is awareness. Breathe out. Relax shoulders. One more inhale. One more exhale. Fantastic. We're going to come to a squat just where you are. You'll squat, and we'll be squatting a lot in our practice today. All right. So I'll mirror you for this. I'll always tell you if I'm going to mirror you. So dig the left arm into the left leg. And then on your next inhale, use that as leverage to open wide across the chest as you lift the right hand. And we'll go side to side. Exhale through center. Inhale, stretch through the left. Breathe out. Inhale for four. Exhale, breathe in for three, breathe out. Inhale, open, exhale, and one more breath in. Fabulous. And then let's make our way to stand again. I'll have you face me. So as you take a nice wide horse stance, spin the heels in, toes out. Again, I'll mirror you for the part that's relevant for this. Um, if you're straddling the mat, awesome. If you're on the mat, awesome. So we'll do some Tai Chi surf inspired movement. Wiggle the fingers. As you inhale, straighten through the legs, float the palms up, breathe light into your soul. Ground yourself, center yourself as you sink into the hips and coffee, press the hands down. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Rinse out. Circle back up through send, or circle the hands back up as you straighten the legs, but this time cactus the arms. Hug the elbows towards each other as you keep breathing. Really press into the heels to really feel a leap for joy in your heart. Take two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right, fantastic. Really sink into the hips, wiggle the fingers. We're going to go opposite way in a sense to the flow. So as if you're scooping up abundance, as if you're scooping up blessing, inhale, bring them over the body, palms towards you, hands through center. Exhale, palms down, shoulders and hands loose and happy. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Inhale, abundance. Exhale that mentality of scarcity. We'll go back to that wide open heart as you come through center, press into the heels, cactus the arms, pump the elbows towards each other. Feel like you've just thrown the curtains of your heart wide open and it is the most beautiful and amazing day. It is singing, it is happy. Take one more breath in. Enjoy one more breath out. All right, one more flow. This is the part where I'll mirror you. So identify the right hand and the right foot. It's called Dragon Tail's Lunge. So it's all about stoking our inner fire in a playful way. As you inhale, bend into the right knee, hook the right arm, but press through left hand and foot. Exhale through center. Then we go side to side. Inhale, hook left, press right. Breathe out. Let's do three more each side. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale for four, exhale, burning away the things. Breathe out that block us from love. Two, one more each side. Exhale, last breath in, last breath out. One more time for three breaths. Throw your heart wide open. Feel all the light and the love shining from you and into you for two more breaths. Inhale, 
Exhale. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Fantastic. Bring the hands to the heart, honoring the light that's inside. <laughs> Maybe fall a little bit. Hmm. So we got our right, step to the top of our mat and get flowing that direction. As you get set up, bring to mind someone, something that you're grateful for. That'll be relevant here in a second. Inhale, sweep the hands up, open, feel like you're hugging the sun, you're hugging your day. Exhale, lengthen down to forward fold, beautiful. Heels in, toes out, does not matter. If the heels touch the ground, you'll see that mine do not as you come to yogi squat. So this time as you traction the hips down and away, use the fingertips to find lift and length through crown and heart. So take a breath in here, and then as an embodiment of gratitude, as a physical expression of it, as you exhale, lean down like you're so grateful you're going to kiss the ground. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Holding in your mind's eye that person thing you're grateful for. Exhale, bow down. One more breath in. One more breath out. Parallel the feet, shine the heart forward, lengthen the back of the neck, halfway lift as you inhale. Stride the right foot back as you exhale, keep or land the knee softly. Hug the feet towards each other to find a nice held squareness through the hips and a stretch in the right quad. And then really slow, so don't be like top gun feeling the need for speed. We're going to swim like do the crawl with our arms, but again, really slow. So the right hand's gonna lead. So as you inhale, brighten the right fingers forward, the left hand back. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back, swimming through sunshine. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep the circle going. Two, Drive the right hand, plug it into the center of the earth, lift through the right knee, drive through the right heel, brighten up and plug into the heavens through the left hand. Inhale, lengthen from heel through crown. Exhale, open wide across the chest. Two more, brighten in all directions. Exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Swoop the left hand down. Find your perfect plank pose as you inhale into your power. Keep the elbows on the ribs as you exhale. Chaturanga is an embodiment of love being poured into the world. Cobra up dog as you inhale. And then roll over the toes. Press the hips high, down dog. And take about three breaths to move. Listen to the body. Trust that it is so fabulously intelligent in any way that feels delicious. the bottom of the next exhale, we meet in stillness. From there, press, press left heel down as you breathe the right toes up from the big toe side. Draw the right knee into the chest and quietly bring it inside the right thumb. Tend the fingertips and use them to curve the heart forward, lengthen from heel through the crown, a little runner stretch variation. And then a pyramid pose variation, drive the right heel away from you, lean the hips left as you stretch the right leg out. Two more, inhale. Exhale, one more breath in, one more breath out, hop the left foot forward, inhale, rise your way up, bring the hands to the heart, each time the hands come to the heart, so must eat to heat equals standing pose, feel like you're returning more and more to love, and I believe that's from whence we came and from which we saw return and what we're here for. So you'll see me switch sides, so, but you don't have to change anything. It's more so I'm facing you than away from you. So same flow, other direction. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Breathe brightness into your fingers. Exhale, hands through center or arms wide. Carve a path down to forward fold. Maybe same person or experience that you're grateful for as we find our yogi squat. Lengthen from hips to crown. Take a breath in here. Holding that image in our mind's eye, exhale, bow in like you're going to cross the ground. Two more, inhale, exhale, breathe in, 
Breathe out. Feet parallel, heart shining forward, hips pressing back, halfway lift, inhale. Step the left foot back so that the top of the knee comes down. So you might have to slide it back a little further as you exhale and land the knee. Grip the mat with the toes so you get that nice squaring action, nice stretch in the quad. This time we'll lead with the left hand and again, super slow-mo, like we're swimming through honey. Inhale, left hand forward, right fingers brighten back. Exhale, right hand swims forward, left fingers float back. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Complete the circuit by landing the left hand, plug it in, drive through the left heel, brighten through the right fingers, lengthen through the crown, inhale, good energy, exhale, not good energy. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, one more exhale. Swoop the right hand down, find your plank, biceps forward, triceps back, fingers plunging into the earth. Exhale till the belly drags you down, chaturanga. And then go up and over the toes, upper arms drag back, ankles hug towards each other, cobra up dog. And then exhale, press it on back, down dog. And again, take three breaths to move or not move, do what feels again. What's the body asking for? Maybe on an exhale. Press the right heel down as you breathe the left toes up from the big toe side. Draw the left knee into the chest, come forward and bring it inside the left thumb, 10 fingertips as you exhale. Use the fingertips to slide the heart through the gates of the arms, lengthen through the crown, runner stretch. Dig left heel away from you, but slide the hips right to stretch the left leg out as you breathe out, relax jaw. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Last breath out. Hop the right foot forward, inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart, pausing, returning, feeling. All right. Inhale like you're breathing from the fingers and toes in the body as you reach up and open. Exhale, let's keep pressing through the feet to lengthen through the crown down to forward fold. This time we're going to get a groin stretch in our um, yogi squat. So you get to choose the intensity, kind of like Thai food yards, get to pick the spice level. So you connect the elbows to thighs and you squeeze the thighs in. And the more you resistance, vice versa, elbows pressing out, knees, thighs pressing in that you uh, put on the pose, the more intense the stretch will be. So as you relax the gaze, soften the face, take three breaths, inhale. Exhale, let some tension go like a pressure cooker. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Find Ardha Uttanasana halfway lift. Use hands to get more length in your spine as you inhale. Looking good. Exhale, right foot back again. It'll be low lunge. We're getting that quad stretch. So land the top of the knee. And then as you arrive, make a cup with your hands like you want to get like precious liquid in your hands. You don't want to lose a drop. And then lift it up a little bit above eye level, like a gesture. No, not like. It's a gesture of offering. And then feel it out. Where are you in your journey today? Could you use more filling? Are you really good for sharing? Are you looking for a combo platter? So just breathe as if the universe is giving you what you need because that's how amazing it is. It meets us where we're at. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Swoop the hands down, plank pose, knowing that child's pose is always there for you. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open your heart, shine your light. And then exhale, hips high, heels low, down dog. 
Brighten the right toes up on the inhale. Draw right knee to the nose and quietly bring the foot under the face, left heel down as you exhale. Left hand cartwheels this up, warrior two. Find a leveling through the hips. Doesn't matter the bend in the right knee, but we do want to bring the right hand to the inside of the knee and the left hand to the pokey part of the hip and press those away from each other so you get a nice stretch in the right inner leg, inner thigh. Keeping that, relax the shoulders, release the fingers. And then get a rhythm with the right leg. The inhale, it'll straighten. So straighten the leg on the inhale. Bring a pair up through the midline above your head. And on the exhale, bend the knee and pump the palms down. Three more, feeling the emotion of the motion. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last inhale. Last exhale. Close or soften your eyes and drop your brain. Bring your awareness into the tips of the fingers, into the palms, and just feel what you feel. And then flip the palms up, feel, notice. Flip them down. Flip them up. You notice the difference, awesome if not awesome. It's a little more grounding for the down. It's a little more invigorating for the up. Inhale, blink the eyes open. And bring your hands to your heart as you step to the top of the mat as you exhale. Fabulousness. All right, let's go the other way. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, slow motion, ride breath down, forward fold. Malasana, yogi squat, heels in, toes out. Again, elbows into the thighs with resistance to build up our groin stretch. Have your gaze be really soft and steady, your face be really peaceful, and then breathe into the stretch three times. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, parallel the feet. Halfway lift, heart shining forward, hips pressing back as you inhale. Left foot strides back for low lunge as we exhale. Happy held hips and nice quad stretch. And then when you get set up, we get our cup going on. And again, where are you at in this moment, this day? And breathe that energy, inhale. Exhale. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. One more inhale. One more exhale. Swoop the hands down, plank pose. Chaturanga. It's an embodiment of bliss, cobra up dog. And then elevate the hips, elevate the vibe, down dog. The inhale floats the left toes high and wide. Draw the left knee in toward the nose, quietly bring the foot under the face, right heel down. Right hand guides us up, warrior two. Expansion and sparkle in the fingers, but as if you're pressing your hands into a wall, there's an integration in the shoulders. Left knee tracks out, left sit bone scoops in to get that nice inner thigh stretch and try and keep the hips level. Wheel fingers, and then four times with breath, the rhythm in the left leg, the inhale, we straighten it, we remove prayer up the midline. And exhale, bend the knee, pump the palms down. You always get to add the meaning to the movement. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in for two. Breathe out. Inhale for one. Exhale, flip the palms, have the hands be receptive as you breathe in, blessings. Step to the top of the mat, hands to the heart as you breathe out. All right, let's get some, build some strength, build some heat. We're gonna do that, kind of stretch, more heat, you know, stretch, kind of have a little fun pattern here. Something for everybody. Inhale, like you're jumping for joy, you're doing a back flip, you're so stoked. Exhale, heart leads us down, love leads us down to forward fold. Yogi squat again. 
This time in fingertips and triceps, we trust is our mantra. So feel like your hands are palming a basketball. So there's a squeeze, a hug to the midline, like the suction cup action, like the palms are lifting, everything's hugging in towards each other. So find that shoulder distance apart. Draw the elbows towards the body. So biceps, forward, triceps, back. Feel how that integrates the arms into the shoulders. Keeping that with a humble chin and soft and steady gaze, press the knees into the shelf of the triceps as close to the armpits as you can. Then lean forward, soft gaze, humble chin. Maybe lift a foot. Maybe keep the feet down. Wherever serves you, maybe lift both feet, connecting with toes, hugging heels in. Maybe straighten through the arms. Wherever you can build some fire and power for three breaths, inhale. Exhale, breathe in confidence, breathe out the inner critic. One more inhale, one more exhale, fantastic. Inhale, halfway lift, stretch it out. As you step the right foot back far, sigh it out. Land the knee, top of the knee. Work the left foot over to the right. Set up for pigeon, so flex the toes strongly towards the shin to stabilize ankle and knee and get into the hip. Untuck the right toes. The more towards 90 degrees the shin is, the more intense it is. So again, pick your spice. Wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the jaw to let unnecessary, t- unnecessary tension melt off. Hug the feet strongly towards each other to feel like you got an assistant pulling the hips back square. Get some juice in the outer left hip. And then keeping the softness in the upper body, feel it out. Stay upright or lean down, but keep the left hand pressing away from you to help the hips square. Close or soften the eyes. And just realize that your breath and awareness is medicine. Breathing in new life, breathing in healing as you breathe right into your hip. Breathing it out, the hurts. the struggles, the insecurities that we carry in our tissues. Let the breath be slow. Breathe the calm into the body that you want. About four more breaths. The bottom of your next exhale, sigh it out and start to make your way out. Build some more heat and open our hearts in doing so. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Step the left foot back to plank. Lower yourself with control all the way to the ground for five, four, three, two, one. Did amazing. And then bend the knees. We're going to move progressively in the bow. So it'll be five breaths to progressively rise into our bow. So grab the ankles, grab the feet. Use a strap perhaps too is another lovely option. But you do want to keep a squeeze of the thighs towards each other like you're squeezing a ball between your legs or a block or something like that. And draw the pelvis towards the chin, but humble the chin. Exhale to get started. Keep the squeeze in the midline. Lift the feet a little as you breathe in. Press back through the shins a little as you breathe out. It'll be a little brighter, a little higher. Inhale a little more. Exhale, fantastic. Breathe in, shine a little more. Breathe out, smile a little brighter. Two more, you got this. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe out. With control. Make your way out. Stack the hands, feel. The good feels, maybe rock the hips, maybe wiggle the jaw, take a sigh or five to let that energy flow. <sighs> Feel your heart, that beautiful heart of yours that reminds you with every beat that you are worthy, that you are loved, that you belong. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale, swing the heart through the arms. Exhale, press it back down, dog. This next flow is called the love dance. So it'll be like you're the greatest show person showing off love. We'll learn the poses in pairs and then we'll put it all together. Breathe the right toes up. 
draw the right knee in towards the nose and quietly again land the foot so we meet in warrior two again inhale find your way there Whew. exhale maybe a sigh of sound to let something go so pattern number one there'll be a rhythm in the right leg the inhale we straighten it the exhale we bend it inhale straighten lean back but point up and to the right look mom it's love up there exhale bend the knee lean forward but gaze back and point back two more of those inhale leg straightens we lean back we point up and to the right Exhale, knee bends, extended side angle variation, lean forward, point and gaze back. One more inhale, one more exhale. Second pattern, again, straight bend, straight bend with the knee. This time as we straighten the leg and light up through the toes, we sink into our hips to our own degree. It's called mucotasana and we point forward. So a lot of people go lower, I stay higher. You'll see, so do what feels great to you. And on the exhale, back to that extended side angle variation. So inhale, love goes before me, show it off. Exhale, oh, love's always got my back. One more inhale, one more exhale. And then the last pattern is we straighten the leg, we open wide to love all around. Exhale, we bend the knee, bring the hands to the heart, bow the brain and honor the love that's always within. Two more, inhale, exhale, breathe in. Not worrying how it turns out, breathe out. We flow three times with breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg, lean back, point up into the right. Exhale, bend the knee, lean forward, but point back and gaze back. Inhale, right toes alive, leg straight, we lean back, but point forward. Exhale, we lean forward, knee bends, we point back. Inhale, leg straighten, we open wide, soak in the sauna of love. Exhale, hands to the heart, knee bends. Two more, I'll talk a little less. Inhale, straighten the leg, point up. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, mute katasana. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, open, shine. Exhale, that way. Last one, inhale, straighten, point up to the right. Exhale. Lean forward, point back. Inhale, love goes before us. Exhale, love goes behind us. Inhale, oh wow, love is all around. And exhale, love is all within. Inhale, warrior two, palms up, hands receptive, no worries. Exhale, left foot forward, returning to center, to love, to source. Fabulous, same flow, other direction. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, lengthen down, stretch it out. One last time for this variation of yogi squat, heels in, toes out. So again, in fingertips and triceps, we trust. Fingers, shoulder distance apart, really spread the fingers wide, but then hug everything into the midline, to the middle, towards the, you know, like your palming basketball. And then connect. Knees as close to the armpits as you can, but resist it because that's the table. The triceps lean forward to bring the weight into the fingertips, soften, steady the gaze, humble the chin. Maybe lift the foot again. Maybe they stay down. Maybe you get the big toes to touch as close as you can get the heels to the bum. The easier it becomes. Maybe over time, you straighten the arms to go from crow to crane. Three more breaths. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in a good story. We're always telling one in our heads. Breathe out the not good one. One more inhale. One more exhale. Find a halfway lift that feels soothing as you breathe in calm. Sigh it out as you stride the left foot back far. Lay in the top of the knee so you might have to slide it back a little further. Work the right foot over, setting up for pigeon. Honoring the diversity in our body, so not imposing the same shape, if you will, on this side, going for a feeling. Yoga is a feeling, not a shape. We want the hips squaring, the feet, onto like left toes, hug strongly toward each other. Move the shoulders and release tension in the neck and the jaw with a little movement. And then the right hand presses away from you to keep the hip going back down and in. Stay upright or... Sink down wherever you are, soften or close the eyes.
and see how both intimate you can be with what's going on with your body, feeling the sensations being with your hip, breathing through it, keeping your awareness there, but also how big of a picture perspective you can have, knowing that this too shall pass, knowing that what you're doing is healing. Letting your awareness regulate the breath for about four more. Bottom of your neck, exhale, sigh. And then we reemerge, hands under the shoulders, left toes tuck, left knee lifts as we make our way to a powerful plank, drive through the heel, squeeze thighs, cinch waist. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Pause. And then one more time, we progressively move into Dhanurasana, bow pose. So get the ankles or the feet. Again, maybe a strap might be your jam. But we do want the squeeze of all the, of the thighs and the big toes towards each other, like they're magnets. Humble the chin, press the pelvis towards the chin. Exhale. Inhale, lift the feet a little. Exhale, draw back to the shins a little. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, press back a little fiercer. Three more to glow brighter and brighter. Exhale, inhale, shine. Exhale, sparkle. Inhale into your fullness. Exhale, feel your fullness. Yeah, amazing, so good. With control, make your way out. Drop into the feels. Whew, breathe through them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I love them sounds. So make, do not worry about the sounds you make. The sounds are, are so good to help energy move and leave and help us hmm, process information. As ready, that needs a lot of processing for me. It might have been the same for you. Tuck the toes, bring the hands under the shoulders. Next, inhale, playfully swing the heart to the gates of the arms. And then exhale, press it on back, down dog. Let's get our love dance on one more time. Again, we'll do the poses in pairs, then flow. Inhale, left toes up so that we're equal. Exhale, left knee to nose, place foot. We make our way on the inhale up to Virabhadrasana B, Warrior Two. Soften shoulders, sparkle fingers, rhythm in the left leg this time. Inhale, straighten it, lean back, but point up and to the left. Exhale, bend it, lean forward, but gaze back and point back. Inhale, love is in your hands. Show it off. Exhale. One more inhale, straighten, lean back, point up. Exhale, bend the knee, lean forward, point back. Mukatasana as you inhale, left toes alive. You sink to your own depth as you point forward and lean back. And then exhale back to the side angle variation as you gaze back and point back. Two more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pointing forward, leaning back, left toes hug in towards the nose. Exhale. And then inhale, open wide to it all. Soak in the rays of love. Exhale, bend the knee, bow the brain, hands to the heart. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. And then let's have fun. Inhale, left leg straight. Ladies and gentlemen, love is up there. Exhale, bend the knee, gaze back, point back. It's behind me too. Exhale, mukatasana. and we lean back, but point forward. Love goes before me. Exhale, bend the knee, lean forward, point back. Inhale, oh my gosh, it is truly all around. Open to it. Exhale, bend the knee, bow the brain, hands to the heart. Two more, I'll just cue the breath. Inhale. Don't worry if you get it right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. Exhale, love does not keep score. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Inhale. 
Exhale. Breathe in. Just move. Just be in love. Breathe out. Doing amazing. One more inhale. Looking fabulous. One more exhale. Warrior two, palms up, hands receptive, feel the love. Step to the top of the mat, bring the hands to the heart, feel your love. Hmm, fabulousness. Okay, for this part, I'll mirror you. So this time for our flow, and I'll stand here, but you'll be at the top of your mat. Uh, we bring our thighs together. Wah! <laughs> and lose balance. All right, we bring our thighs together, but there's a, so a, a hug to the midline, so that like a rotisserie, it hugs in and back. In and back through the thighs, we want to keep the knees in one line. And so kind of in yoga, the more we can zip up to the midline, the better things go physically. But in life, the more we hug to the midline, our center, our true north, the better things go also. Let's inhale our hands up. Exhale, come down through chair and then come to a squat. Keep the knees as best you can in one line. Identify the left arm. Bring it cross body and triceps and fingertips to trust possibly if you go through the arm balance. So feel it out. If you know side crow and you want to take it, feel free. If you want to hang out in the twist as you spiral staircase up and to the left, feel free. And I'll talk you through the possibility. Sometimes we limit it ourselves by not believing in ourselves. So give it a try. In fingertips and triceps we trust, we turn the fingers 90 degrees away from us. We lean the ribs on one tricep. We keep pressing the thigh into the other. You hug the heels in and bam, maybe, maybe you can lift the heels. Maybe then side crow, straighten the legs. Maybe scissor the legs. Maybe bring the side of the face to the ground and float the left foot to the sky for fallen angel. Maybe switch which thigh is on top. Whew. Easier than it sounds. <laughs> keep having fun. Keep playing for another breath or two. If you want to pause, if you want to keep flowing, feel free to keep working on one of it. If you're ready to move to the next pose, we meet in halfway lift to stretch it out on the inhale. And a big step of the right foot back as we keep the toes tucked and active, land the knee on the exhale. One of my favorite stretches, walk the hands to the right. And then use the left hand as you energize the left toe to roll the, light, the left thigh open but draw the hips towards the left heel, but lean head and heart away, getting into quad, shoulder, hips, reach the left hand back. This could be your jam. Maybe lift the right foot. Maybe, and it changes the stretch if you get it from the inside to the outside, get the right foot with the hand and use the resistance to get a little more juice. When you have it felt out, close the eyes, breathe the energy of deliciousness into your body. Breathe it in. Let go of stuckness. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale for two. Exhale. Breathe in for one. Breathe out. Take your time, make your way out. We're gonna end up standing on our knees with toes tucked and active for what I call the camel dance to bring the left knee back. So you gotta get the hips involved. The hips on the inhale, drive forward from the power of the feet like you're pressing them into a wall. And then they can go back as you go side to side. So we'll the right hand. It's on the inhale, the right hand wings up and to the right, the, sorry, the left. The left hand reaches behind, hips forward. We exhale, we swim through center to go to the other side. Inhale, left hand up and to the right, right hand behind. Let's do three each side. Exhale through center. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Freedom to love. Breathe out. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in for three. Breathe out. Inhale for two. Exhale. Breathe in for one. Fabulous. Walk the hands out. Find your way to a down dog. So this flow is called Three Abodes from my school, yoga school, Blissology. And I, it's not quite the way we do it in Blissology, so it's a little remix, if you will. But it's about three aspects of love. So breathe the right toes up. 
draw the knee in and we'll meet in warrior two again. Inhale your way there. This will be the rhythm in the right leg again, exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs, circle the hands up. The first abode as we draw the hands to the heart, bend the knee, we center on love. We love always. Inhale, straighten the legs, float the hands up. Love has healthy boundaries. Make an X of the forearms. Only love aloud as you exhale. And the third one is we inhale, we rub in the arms, we fill with love. Love is a flow. It is something we share. Exhale, breathe love into the world. Let's do two more. Inhale, straighten and open. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale. Only love aloud. Exhale. Inhale, ribbon, fill up with that energy. It is the most powerful in the world. Exhale, breathe it into your life, into your circle, into the world. One more inhale. Hands to the heart as you exhale. Inhale, circle, legs straight. Little healthy boundary, exhale. Inhale, ribbon, fill. Exhale, softly send. Inhale, warrior two, palms up. Exhale, hands to the heart, left foot forward. Fabulousness. All right, last flow, last side. You're doing amazing. You're a rock star. So let's find that squeeze of the thighs, that zip. Everything hugged sweetly to the midline. So another way to think of it is hugging muscle to bone. Inhale, hands up. Come through chairs. You come to squat. As you exhale, maybe you can keep your hands up. Not so much for me, but that is okay. It's all good either way. And again, right tricep cross body. Keep the knees in one line. So we're getting less in our hips and more in our upper body for the twist. And then keep the thighs squeezing and in and back. Maybe you spiral staircase up and to the left. Maybe you're already inside crow. And again, maybe. So another entry point is to parallel the fingers away from us. So easier if you get the ribs on the outside tricep, but possible to not. And you press thigh into tricep and maybe the ribs into the other. You hug the heels in and maybe you can lift. Maybe you can straighten. Maybe scissor. Maybe lift the right foot, fall an angel. Maybe playfully experiment with switching. Wah! Which thighs on top. Whew, another breath or two. And again, you can pause. You can hang out. The world is yours. Whew. Fabulous. So fun. As you're ready, find a halfway lift to stretch your beautiful spine out on the inhale. Big step of the left foot back, keeping toes tucked and active as you land the knee on the exhale. Walk the hands over to the left. Lean away, but roll the right thigh open. Energize the toes. Reach the right hand back. Open, invite the left foot. Maybe it listens. Maybe it's got husband hearing. What was that? Vacuum? I didn't hear you, baby. <laughs> and then maybe you lift the foot. Maybe you get it again. Customize the pose to feel. Hmm. So breathe that energy for five breaths. Inhale. Breathe in, let something go. Go for three. Breathe for two. And one. All right, we'll make our way to the camel dance again. Release left foot if it lifted, toes stay tucked and active. Step the right knee back, activate those toes. We'll leave with the left hand this time. And again, hips drive forward on the inhale. Heart singing soprano. We'll leave with the left four times each side. Inhale, hips forward, left hand up into the right, right hand behind. Exhale, transition. Inhale, right up into the left, left hand behind. Breathe out. Dance and play in a sea of bliss for six. Exhale. Five, breathe out. Four, exhale. Three, breathe out. Two, exhale. One.
Breathe out, fabulousness. Walk the hands out, feel that deliciousness in your body as you press it back down, dog. So we got our three of bows on this side. Last bit of action. Inhale, left toes up. Exhale, draw the knee in. We all meet in warrior two. Soften your shoulders, sparkle fingers, rhythm in the left leg. Inhale, float the palms up, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend the knee, draw the hands to the heart, center on love. Let it lead. Inhale, open. A little healthy boundary, crossing the forearms as you exhale. Inhale, we ribbon, we fill. Love is best shared. Exhale, we share it, we spread it. Two more. Inhale, straighten, float the hands up. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart, bend the knee. I think of Gandalf for this part. Inhale, straighten, open. Like on that scene on the bridge where he says, you shall not pass unless you're love. Inhale, straighten, ribbon, fill. Exhale. Usher some more love in. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart, centering. Inhale. Make a little love cocoon. Exhale. Inhale, ribbon and fill. Exhale. As you inhale into warrior two, palms up, feel that you have taken the perspective of love. And then step to the top of the mat, keep feeling that, bring the hands to the heart, close or soften the eyes. And just feel into what love says. Feel into the energy of what love sees. Maybe it's about you, someone else the world. Big breath in. Hmm. When you make that hmm sound, I think I just have a standing wager that you'll feel at least a little bit better if you make that noise, no matter what's going on in life. Let's make our way down to our backs, getting ready for the best part, Shavasana. As you arrive on your back, draw the knees in the chest with hands on the knees, and then use them to make three circles to the right to massage your shoulders, kidneys, and low back. Just like make it really slow and sweet, nothing activated or intense. Just let breath by breath feel like you're falling into love in like a literal sense, like you're in a quicksand of love that you're sinking. Let's go three circles to the left. All right, then interlace the fingers on the left shin, draw the knee towards the left armpit, drive the right heel away from it like they're in a tug of war. Keeping that length, use the right hand to then guide the left knee cross body as you roll the left arm open and gaze left for a supine twist. Take a different variation if that feels better in your body. Maybe leave the right hand for a weight, maybe free it, maybe straighten the left leg, which gets a little IT band stretch. So feel out the variation that speaks to you. you even join the knees for some support. And then breathe softness into your fingers. Breathe sinking into your shoulders. Breathe expansiveness and softness into your face. Gently come back through center, we'll go the other direction. Adjust hips, slide the left leg long, drive through the heel, draw the right knee in opposition towards the right armpit. Keep that length, left hand lovingly guides the knee cross body, same option, so feel it out. Gaze rolls to the right arm, right arm, cactus or T to the right. And then how much can you melt, like your whole body has a popsicle on a hot summer day on the sidewalk. Get loose. And then 
in a luxurious way. Come back to center, adjust hips as necessary, draw the knees in the chest. Give yourself a big old hug and squeeze. And then spill your muscles, bones, thoughts, to-dos, plans, motions, feelings into Shavasana. Feel it all melt away. So you settle into a sauna of love. So you enjoy the symphony and bliss in the body. I'll just talk you through a little guided relaxation to help increase those feelings. So feel into the crown of the head. Feel it relax, feel your hair get a little heavier in the sweetest way. Feel your forehead smooth and release. Your eyes get heavy. Your cheeks loosen. Your teeth and jaw soft and relaxed. Your neck releasing. Your shoulders, your right shoulder sinking. Feel a sweet heaviness in the right forearm, the right bicep. Relaxation in the right elbow and forearm. Feel release through the right palm and fingertips. Find that same surrendering in the left shoulder. Trace it down through the forearm and the bicep. Feel release in the left elbow, the left tricep. Feel like sweet streams of water are pouring out the left wrist through the palm and out the fingertips, feeling into the backside body, feel the left shoulder, the right shoulder sink and release that travels to the back side of the heart as it melts, as the middle of the back and the low back find relaxation and peace. Feel softness across the chest, free movement in the belly, settled happiness in the hips, feel the right upper leg totally relaxed, right knee just releasing, right shin, calf softening, right ankle, ball of the foot, toes releasing, heavy, relaxed. Feel the left thigh and quad and hamstring letting go. Left knee soft. Left shin and calf, release, complete surrender in the left ankle, the bottom of the left foot, top of the left foot and into the toes. Everything heavy, soft and relaxed. Enjoy these last few breaths. Feel like love, like an, a good mom is beneath you, cradling you, singing to you. 
and love like a good father above is celebrating, shining on, smiling on you. With no rush, let's meet in a comfortable seat to close our time together. I'll ask you a simple question for this part. Is there anything, any image, person, experience, mentality that's kind of blocking, limiting love in your life? To arrive in a comfortable seat with closed or soft eyes, take that image from your head and hold it in your heart. And on the inhales, feel light brightening around that image. And on the exhales, feel a little more free to love, feel that the the attachments, the strings that are linked with that, that are limiting the blockages are being loosened and free and done away with. Just take a few breaths like that. Gently draw your hands to your heart, slightly lifting the heart, slightly bowing the brain. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Levantu, may all beings at all places at all times be joyous, free from suffering and united. May what we think and what we speak and what we do spread joy and freedom and unity for all. Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. We are light, we are love, we are one. Namaste and much love. Have an incredible and amazing day. And I hope to practice with you again soon. Bye.